Hello, what I'm going to try to do today is uh, go over something called the Wilson Cycle. Um, this was an idea um, of the way the Earth created new crust, uh, new oceans, uh, by John Tuzo Wilson uh, back in the uh, 1980s. Um, he was a Canadian geophysicist. You can see he's no longer with us, but uh, we still call it after him the Wilson Cycle. And basically what we start with is we start with uh, A right here with what's called a stable craton. Um, just a big piece of felsic granitic rock um, that makes up a continent. Um, we actually have parts of these things in most of the major land masses today. And what eventually happens is uh, we get uh, molten rock from down below which uh, rises up and starts burning through this craton and actually starts breaking it apart. And then what we get there is a uh, formation of new mafic rock. So we get this mafic rock to form in there, which will make ocean crust. You can see ocean crust there, continental crust. The two, uh, the one craton gets broken up into two babies. Um, it starts spreading apart, moving one going off this way, one going off this way, and um, starts making two new land masses. Um, starts creating a baby ocean, and then a full-fledged ocean. When we get down here to see. And then eventually, if this gets pushed one direction, this gets pushed another direction, um, we'll eventually start getting an ocean, like this ocean and that ocean, getting smaller, um, where we get a subductive or a, a smaller subductive zone or a smaller ocean, and eventually the ocean will become minuscule, and then the two land masses will run into each other, one of them being pushed up like we get uh, Mount Everest, the other one India, sort of being subducted down but not near as far down as this oceanic mafic goes down and then we end up with another craton that can actually go right through here to A again and start the whole process all over again. I'm going to show you this site right here. I can't click it from this program but hopefully when I go here and go to this one sorry this one um, we get a nice hot core doesn't show you the inner and outer core just talks about a core the mantle and the crust and we can actually throw on mantle convection, entire mantle, where the core actually is heating up mantle material. The mantle material becomes less dense and rises, goes up, um, actually starts a convective cell, and you can see one, two, three, four, one really large convective cell. Um, and this actually takes this craton, if it was up there, and starts pulling it apart, uh, or at least melting it so that it can be pulled apart, and then it creates new oceanic crust. This doesn't really show you the continental crust. Um, it shows you what's called the volcanic arch up, arc up here at the subduction zone. And it shows you mid-ocean ridges or seafloor spreading. Um, we ha have another idea where it's upper mantle convection, but we still have those four convection cells still actually causing this divergent force, still causing convergent forces. Um, but again, we don't have the continental mafic action. We just have basically have mafic plates on this one, so it's not that realistic. One thing I do want to show you is that we, um, we have an idea of the um, Hawaiian Islands. Um, if it's a deep mantle flow, sort of like this picture, and if I push play, you can see the blobs go up, the crust gets moved, new volcano after new volcano after new volcano. These volcanoes are dead and dying. Um, they actually are getting smaller and smaller until eventually they go underneath the water, which gives you coyotes or submerged seamounts or whatever. Um, there's an alternate view of this one where we just get a shallow magma blob, um, which does the same thing, feeds these volcanoes one after another, making new volcanoes, making the rest of the volcanoes extinct. Okay, if we go back to this document, um, go down to this picture, this is actually where we can see these things um, in action. Um, start off with a juvenile, or basically we start off with an embryonic continental shelf like Africa here in the Great Rift Valley, which Africa sort of, sort of seems to be being split apart. Lots of uh, spreading. Um, hasn't reached down into the mantle yet. We don't have any mafic rock get making it to the surface. But we have the same thing here with the Arabian plate and the African plate. Um, this is a juvenile one. So we go from embryonic to juvenile where these two land masses have been ripped apart. We now have a forming ocean in there and theoretically this thing could keep growing and growing and growing. Um, we actually have a much larger example of that here um, in the Atlantic Ocean um, where you actually see this mid-ocean ridge, this uh, seafloor spreading, um, actually 
the shape of Africa can push right in there. South America, North America, where Pangaea used to be, no Atlantic Ocean. Um, they eventually started breaking apart. They got farther and farther and we got a small ocean and now we're actually in a mature ocean, 250 million years old, somewhere between 150 and 200 million years old. And then on this side of the ocean we actually have a dying ocean where we have South America being pushed this direction. Um, we have Asia being pushed that direction away from this mid-ocean ridge and eventually these land masses, the west coast, will run into these land masses, the east coast, and we'll have a dying ocean. It'll keep getting smaller and smaller until finally the two continental land masses um, pick up. Well, there's the smaller and smaller, like the Mediterranean Sea, and the two land masses, actually continental land masses, hit each other, um, sort of like India running into Asia. Now I want to show you this site down here, um, which, uh, not that program, this site right here, which should be on this screen, and I'd scroll down to actually see the questions. We'll go back to that. So plate tectonics, actually talking about uh, uh, geographic features like mid-ocean ridges, MORs, deep ocean trenches or deep sea trenches located right here where one plate's taking the dive. This is a divergent force. Um, the processes of convection going up causing spreading centers and the other one, this one where the two plates run into each other where one plate older, thicker, denser gets subducted down, forced down under um, where it gets melted and it makes this lava for this volcano. We can throw the plates, these are called lithospheric plates because it's made up of the crust and the upper mantle, and we have one there, we have one there, we have one there, and then we have this large one over here, if you remember those, that big large convective cycle. And the crust, um, we're actually starting to form continental crust, and we have lots of oceanic crust. Um, there are questions that you can go through, observe and explain the two main processes of plate tectonics. Seafloor spreading, where the floor is actually spreading apart, diverging. Or subduction, where the seafloor is actually coming together or uh, converging. Identify topographic features. Uh, Mid-ocean ridges, deep ocean trenches, um, volcanoes, um, seafloors, um, all that kind of stuff. Determine the number of plates shown in the diagram. We went over those. Um, introduce vocabulary um, that we discussed also, depending on geographic or the, the functional forces. Discuss how the map was produced. Spreading centers, um, where the rock actually gets pushed up from below, creating the mid-ocean ridges, or the spreading center, and where two plates are being pushed together, creating this trench, um, and also melting, creating the volcanoes that are up above. Uh, speculate on the origin of the significant features, sort of just did that too. How many plates are shown, just did that, and there's some more questions in there as well. Okay, so I hope that it sort of explains the Wilson cycle, where we actually take um, an embryonic craton and we actually start splitting it up. Uh, we get it farther and farther and farther, and eventually on the other side of the world, um, two land masses have to come together. We have a dying ocean. Eventually it's a dead ocean, and eventually we create a new craton to be split up again sometime in the future. Alright, thank you very much. Bye-bye.